BJ Peters here with SampaBJ.com and I've got John with me today and he's showing you one of the treats that I want to show you how to make. They are so cute and I use the Smitten Mitten bundle to make them and they're just little treat holders. Oh my gosh, just so stinking cute. You're going to love this one. Do you like it, John? Mm-hmm. Let's get started. So here are these cute little treats using the Smitten Mitten bundle. Oh my gosh, they're just so adorable. I love that bundle. Um, my classes with that bundle have gone so well. I think I have actually a few more orders that I've got to fill. But these are so easy and just a couple of the um, fun snack size uh, candy bars in there. And oh my gosh, just so stinking cute. Can you imagine these on your plates um, at Christmas or by your place settings? Oh, just super fun. Let me show you how easy it is. So I want to show you one make using some designer series paper. When you're using the designer series paper, you want to back it with um, some solid cardstock so that you've got that a little bit more strength there. And one key thing is you want to make sure that you've got a pair of mittens. That means that the thumbs aren't both going the same way. So we'll adhere these together like this. And this will go like this so that we, we got our box like that. So the thumbs are ending up going in the same direction and not opposite directions. I'm just going to use some fast fuse here and adhere this to the basic black cardstock. So there's our, our outsides. Now for the inside. What I did was I took a strip and you need about six inches. I've always cut it just a bit longer because I think I appreciate, I don't want it to be short and I'd rather cut some off. So this is a one and a half inch by six and a half inch strip of basic black cardstock. And I've scored it in, on the long side at 3 8 inch on each side. Can you see that? Okay. And then I've used my paper snips and I've gone in and um, made snips up to that score line so that it easily folds and will bend around the corners of the mitten. And the other thing that I've done is I've kind of bent the fibers a little bit and made it so that it's ready to kind of curl by just kind of bending it like that. I'm bringing in my silicone mat and I'm going to just put some fast fuse around the edge here and I go straight up from the thumb. The thumb just isn't going to have anything on it. You see that? And then you just start laying this down. And I've just kind of found it easier to just hold it in my hand and then just kind of push it in on the inside, push the, the little pieces that we've cut down. So just kind of rolling it around the corner there and pushing it, and I'll push it down on the inside. It's pretty easy this time. And you can also get in here with a bone folder so there's kind of, if you can see that, sorry it's black, but you can kind of see what the inside looks like. Now we need to put the adhesive on the other side. And obviously you can see that you need a strong adhesive for this. So now we'll just start here, right at that edge, and press this down as we come around here. There we go, just that easy. So I'm just going to come in here with that bone folder and Make sure that those edges are pressed down really well along both sides and the tip of the mitten. There we go. Now I'm just going to snip that part off. And there's my little box. It's so cute. So let's do a ribbon around here. And I got the this really fun, kind of the, I, reminds me of the tinsel that we had at as young kids that we put on the tree. I'm sure that some of you are probably about my age that may remember that and it just got everywhere and the vacuum cleaners didn't suck it up back in the day that's really cute it really brings out the red in that so then I used the smitten mitten bundle and again stamped this the snowflake here and I used one of the die cuts and cut it out and add a dimensional and we'll put that right on that mitten so cute and we're gonna add just a, a rhinestone here just to kind of Bling that up just a bit. Yay, so cute. Stinking adorable. All right, so let's add our, our candies here. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm not sure, even sure which one I would 
call my favorite, but they're just adorbs. So remember, this is from the Smitten Mitten Bundle. So here's the stamp set and here's the many mittens framelits that go with it. You can check out the online class that I have. I'll cut more because I already have two. I'd love to send that to you. People are loving that one. Remember, you can purchase these products in my online store at stampinbj.com or you can click on the credits of this video. Would love to have you as one of my customers. Thanks and remember to create and feel great.